Welcome to the Love Shack. This is my new home and film property here in Los Angeles, California. I guess this video is to give you guys not only a little tour of the new home and property, but talk a little bit about it as a investment, but also a new business and just the opportunities that a property like this will have, but also I guess the use for it in my personal life as well. Quick backstory, I lived in LA from 2013 to, you know, 2020, 2021. And then when the pandemic hit, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go back home to Arizona. I have a house there. Uh, kind of the work slowed down a lot here. And I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to go back home, uh, live there uh, for, you know, I had sold my house here in, in LA, which was the very first film studio that I opened up, which became the catalyst to all of the various film properties we have to this day. This one uh, now being like the seventh or eighth one. Moved back, lived in Arizona for about three years, and, and obviously so much of my work and business is here from the studios to film production. And I was like, you know what? I just, I was coming back here so much all the time and you know, spending money on Airbnbs, hotels, and especially now that I have kids, they're a year and a half old and I have twins and a family, it's like when I'm coming out here, I want them to be able to come with me and that's really hard when you have, um, you know, twins and a, a wife in tow, right? And like to, to be out in a Airbnb or a hotel, living out of those, I can really only come for a couple day stints and it's hard to bring them. So it, it just finally came to a point where it's like, you know what, I have all this money that I wanna invest anyways. Uh, we need a place out here. Uh, let's also not only invest our money in having our own place out here in LA so that we can be out here comfortably and for longer periods of time for work and different jobs, but also uh, to make money off of it as a another film property for those that are new here and that don't follow me uh, I have a variety of filmmaking locations under Jacob Owen Studios from you know 40 acres in the desert with like a plane crash and a gas station to a 1960s vintage home and standing sets called the Honeymoon Inn in a warehouse downtown. We have the Barracks, which is this uh, really cool grungy warehouse with a ton of sets of which we're actually uh, expanding right now. We just got another 5,000 square feet in that building and are building a ton of new sets. You'll probably, I don't know if the vlog has already come out or if it's coming out after this, but that vlog will follow this video or be somewhere around there. So check that out because in that vlog, I'm heavily documenting the process the build out of that studio uh, to a studio where we kind of have, it's called the lodge. We have this like church set. Um, and some other sets to some studios back home in Arizona, uh, like One Take Studios and the Cairo House. So a big part of what I do or one of the businesses and, and, and ventures that I have are like film and photo properties and studios. And so this is a new studio. Yes, it is my home, but it is a, a, a film and photo studio. And obviously doing something like this is a big financial risk, right? Like buying a home in LA is not cheap, right? And so I think in today's day and age, especially with the economy, you have to do what you can and get creative with how you make your money work for you. And, and ultimately by set decking this place to be a unique film and photo studio, uh, more than likely, I mean, we, we literally like officially opened and went live like yesterday, uh, but essentially, the bookings that will come through this place will uh, most likely pay for the mortgage and if not make, uh, make us some money as well. All the while, I now own this asset and I'm building equity in this property and then I can also use it for my own you know, film and photo productions. Uh, for example, I have a shoot tonight with Kyle, a longtime collaborator and artist who I've done so much videos with in the past and we're gonna shoot a video over here uh, on the piano tonight and uh, what's great about that is like I can do these jobs quickly and if they have big budget, small budget, and you know, I can make those jobs make sense and work because otherwise, like if we had to go rent a location like this with the piano, like that entire budget is pretty much getting eat, eaten up by the location. But the fact that I have the location myself, 
I can now essentially pocket that money or keep the money in house and use my location. And then with that, now have promotional content also for my studio, for my production company. I can shoot the video with the, uh, some of my filters, the, our filter company, Prism Lens Effects. We make filters, so it's like, and then I can edit it with my assets uh, over at Tropic Color. So everything always kind of vertically integrates together, but having a location uh, like this as an uh, investment is very beneficial and very helpful and has always proved to be a, a smart thing to do uh, in my line of work. That doesn't mean it's not scary, it's not risky. With each and every acquisition of a property, whether I purchase it or I lease it, there is that inkling of doubt that creeps in, right? That it's just like, dude, what if, what if this doesn't work? What if it doesn't make money? What if, uh, what if it fails? What if no one wants to come shoot here? Um, I think most notably, when I bought the 40 acres out in the desert, you know, it's an hour and a half outside LA. When I bought it, I was just like, dude, what if I spend all this time and money and no one, no one comes out here to shoot? Like, what do I, what do, I do? And so I think even though I've had all these successful locations and studios and investments in real estate in that way, there's, it's still scary. Anytime you take, you step outside your comfort zone and you're doing something new, it's scary. There's a lot of unknowns and variables un, uh, that you can't like really, um, you know, attribute and you, you're just not sure. And so, yeah, even going into this one, even though I know it's like cool to be my home in LA and I feel like I would shoot here and I feel like other people would too. And I see the vision, like there's still like that, what if? And, but I mean, already we've had a variety of scouts. Uh, I've had image locations come through and, and uh, take photos of the property to list on their site. We've got a lot of buzz surrounding the property already just through what I've posted online. And uh, we already had a big scout for like a huge, I can't talk about what the job is, but for a national brand and it would be like a two, three day shoot here. And so things are already looking up, but yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, my wife has always wanted to kind of do like a, we love old mid-century modern architecture and, and, and stuff like that, but we always wanted to do kind of a P Palm Springs-esque design and feel. And so that's what this house is, it's very like, eclectic and bright and poppy a lot of funky pieces and uh it's yeah kind of a our palm springs inspired film studio we anytime we do a studio we put a lot of attention to all the details and the pieces that go in each property for example you know a lot of the pieces in here we spent a lot of time hunting down you know these pieces that uh, are true to the style and the era. And if we couldn't find them, we made them. For example, this piano right here uh, to my left, we couldn't find a colored piano online anywhere that was affordable and or like had the right color that we wanted. We wanted a colored piano. And so, you know, we found a piano on OfferUp for $200. We took it to a car wrap place and they were able to wrap the piano, which is his first time ever doing it in the exact color that we wanted. And now we have this beautiful, unique piano piece that we essentially custom made for this property that no one else has. So we take great pride and go to the great lengths to like really craft the spaces so that they are unique. And that's what brings people, I think, through our studios. And I think that's something that's super important to overlook. A lot of people are like, yeah, I'm gonna open a studio. And they just kind of don't, go that extra mile and I think, you know, people sometimes can struggle and then wonder like, oh, why am I not getting bookings? And it's like, people really care about those details. With the original house, uh, the Honeymoon Inn or honey, Honeymoon Hideout it was at first, every production that would come through there, the production team or production design, our department would be like, wow, like even the books are accurate to the date of like the house. And my wife would go through the books at like bookstores and see if they were printed in the 60s or 70s. And then if so, we would buy those books. So that's the level of detail and care that goes into each one of our properties that I think is so important and that makes them special. I'm kind of in this new phase in my life where I'm not doing as much physical like filmmaking productions anymore. And I think that's one because like I have a family and I wanna have more free time to spend with them versus on set. But also I think like as you grow as an artist, like your interests change and my interests have just shifted a lot, right? Like I love like 
crafting spaces, interior design, set decoration, art department. Like I find, like even when I directed my, you know, videos over the years, I always had a hand in like, we need this piece, this piece, the room should look like this. Like I was very particular. And I don't know if that was growing up, just watching HGTV with my mom, that, that kind of style and design was ingrained in me, or if that's just something that just kind of has always been naturally in me and that I've enjoyed and liked, but I do find a lot of, um, fun in building and crafting sets and spaces and watching other people shoot in them and create art in them. To me, that brings a lot of joy and it's still a part of the filmmaking process. So like anytime you have these awesome productions come through any of our studios and shoot, it's like I had a, a hand in that production and it, that's a cool feeling. And it just, I find a lot of joy and interest in that and will probably continue to do that for the rest of my career as I have a lot of big plans, especially out at the Eclectic West. Like I wanna build a motel and, uh, and a few other things out there that just like give filmmakers really cool and photographers really cool spots to come shoot at that are unique and, and also affordable. All in all, this house was very expensive to not only purchase, but to put together. As I mentioned, we really care about the details. So like, we're not skimping out. Like you need to make statements with your property. And like, even like this couch behind me, we had already purchased the couch for the, for the house. And then when we got it, it was just like, man, this just doesn't make a statement when you walk in. And so, I mean, I don't want to get too deep into financials, but like this couch behind me that we broke up into two different pieces is a $10,000 couch. But when you walk in, you're like, wow, like that's a couch. And it's those pieces that when you're scrolling on peer space or Instagram and you see that, it's like, oh, I need to shoot there. That's what that is. And same thing for the piano and some of the other pieces we have around the house. So I think it's super important to have those standout pieces, even though you might have to spend a little extra for them uh, to get them. Something that really drew me to this house is not only just all of the lines and angles and ways of which you could shoot, but I really have never had a property uh, with a, a pool. And I can't tell you how many shoots I've personally done where we've needed a pool or rented a house with a pool. And so when I saw this one that it had a pool, it, it, it drew me to it even more. But even beyond that, what I love about the pool in the outdoor space is the way that it's situated and the way that it looks, like it can very well play as like a motel pool or an apartment pool, depending on how you shoot it and dress it. And so I think that's cool. It gives a variety of, of looks and ways that productions can utilize it. Like if you want it to be a backyard pool, it can play as that. But if you want to have it play as a motel or an apartment pool, you can have it play as that. For example, the big shoot that scouted that wants to shoot here, the whole premise behind their thing is this apartment, um, an apartment style pool uh, as part of their shoot. So rather than trying to rent or find an apartment in an apartment pool, they wanted a house. And the fact that this house also had this pool that could play as an apartment style pool, they loved and is one of the reasons I think they're, they're gonna book. And so, yeah, I just, I, I love the house. We put a lot of care and attention to detail into it. Uh, if you guys want a more like walkthrough tour, I would love to give that to you guys. If you have any questions, uh, drop um, those questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those. But yeah, if you guys do want a more walkthrough tour, really showing you guys the space, kind of pointing out certain objects, where we got them, because a lot of these are either like flea markets or certain vintage stores, or we got them handmade or we, made them ourselves or we got them off eBay or whatever. Like I think it'd be interesting to maybe give you guys a tour, but only if you want it. So if you want a tour, walking you through the whole space, really kind of breaking everything down and all the different pieces, where we got them, how much things cost, etc. I would love to do that. If that's something that you guys want, let me know in the comments below. Uh, also you can find the link to this location in this listing in the video description below. I would love to host you guys in your next production, your next shoot. I really hope that, yeah, it serves the, the community well. I know we'll be doing some events here in the future, probably for like Prism Lens Effects and, and a few other things, maybe some meetups. So yeah, go learn more about the property, video description below, follow us on Instagram and all my studios on Instagram at Jacob Owen Studios and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for listening.